If you want guides that are more precise, you can use the rulers. I can enable them by pressing Ctrl R on my keyboard. You may need to move some of the palettes if they're covering up the rulers. As you can see, there are two rulers that go across the top and left side of the canvas. The rulers are displaying in inches right now, but we can change that later. I'll press Tab to hide the UI, and I'll hold Spacebar to drag the canvas up to the top left. This makes it easier to see that the ruler units correspond to the canvas dimensions. The horizontal ruler starts at 0 and ends up at 10 because the canvas is 10 inches wide. I can use the rulers to create guides at specific intervals, such as 1 inch from the edge of the canvas on all sides. I'll click on the ruler at the 1 mark to project a guide onto the canvas. I'll repeat this on each side of the canvas. You can drag the triangle for each guide to reposition them. To remove a guide, drag it back onto the ruler. Unlike the hand-drawn guides, the ruler guides are part of your UI and are not actually drawn to your canvas. They will not be visible when you print. You'll need to save as a Painter RIF or Photoshop PSD file to preserve these guides. You can show and hide the visibility of the ruler guides by hitting Control semicolon on your keyboard. Guides like this are often used to reserve a margin around the edge of your canvas for prints that bleed or wrap around a stretched canvas. The guides can be a reminder not to put any important content in that area. It's possible to access additional ruler functions from the canvas menu. Here we can show and hide the rulers, snap to ruler ticks, and change the ruler options. Let's snap to ruler ticks, which are the different increments of the ruler. My guides will snap to the inch lines on the ruler and their subdivisions. I'll go to the ruler options, and let's change the units to pixels. Now the rulers are measuring from 0 to 1000 pixels because the resolution is set to 100 pixels per inch. You can also hold down Alt on your keyboard and click on the ruler to change the ruler units. There are additional options for the guides in the Canvas menu. In addition to hiding and showing the guides, you can snap to the guides so long as you click within 6 pixels of it. There are lots of different tools that you can snap to the guides. One of them is the Crop tool. I'll draw a crop box, and you can see it snaps to my ruler guide. So if I want to crop off exactly one inch of this canvas, that's one way to use snapping. The brush tool, paint bucket, rectangular and oval selection tools, pen tool, shape tools, text tool, and magnifier tool can also snap to the guides. Additional guide options can be found by double clicking on the triangle for the guide on the ruler. That opens up the guide options. Here you can set the position numerically. You can change the guide color to make them easier to see against the background. You can lock the guides so they can't accidentally be moved, and you can delete all guides. Now that we're through with the ruler, let's hide it with Control R.